In this video, we want to examine what material the parts of our jig or fixture should be made from. The first rule is, is this a high volume part? If it is, everything our part that's being machined comes in contact with or touches, it must be hardened for maximum tool life. And for those jig or fixture parts which do not come in direct contact with the part being machined, mild steel or sometimes aluminum is typically used. One of the more commonly used mild steels is A36 hot rolled steel. Often purchased as Blanchard ground, it's strong, ductile, and cheap. It's easy to weld and has good machine ability. Blanchard ground plates are often purchased because the process can guarantee a plate thickness of plus or minus two thou, a parallelism of one and a half thou for every 12 inches, and a flatness of one and a half thou per foot, as well as a 125 root mean square surface finish. The remaining parts of our jig will be made out of tool steels. The collet could be made out of a tool steel or a spring steel. When it comes to jigs and fixtures, O1 is the typical tool steel that is chosen. It's an oil hardening steel, it's the cheapest of the tool steels, and it shows good abrasion resistance, good toughness, it has very good dimensional stability when heat treated. It can be hardened to Rockwell 65 and the C scale, and it has good wear resistance. This steel is often used for collets, blanking dies, cold forming, cold trimming, drill bushing, gauges, and knurling tools. And 4140 steel having similar properties to 01 is often used as well. For this jig, 01 would be used for all the remaining parts that the A36 steel was not used for. And for all of our 01 parts, we would put on the drawing that we would like a Rockwell C hardness of 57 to 62 so that they're well tempered and last as long as possible. In the next video, we'll do one more examination of the jig to look for any missing items or elements.